Our Savior, we are before you this evening, ready to hear from you. May you speak to us, may you minister to our hearts, may you guide us, and may you encourage us as we listen to your word. May you build us up in the faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We may be seated. This evening, we continue uh, looking at our theme, which we have been looking at this, uh, this month. And I want just to remind you that our theme for the year is, who knows, can we say it? Consider my ways. And also you consider yours. You know when you tell people it is like you are telling them, you consider your ways. I also have to consider mine as you consider yours. And the issue is, God did not just tell them to consider their ways. They had to take a step. And in uh, Haggai chapter 1, verse 7, he says, Give careful thoughts to your ways. Go up into the mountain and bring down timber and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. So as Christians, as we consider our ways this, this year, we need to take action. And the action that we are to take is to go up to the mountain, get timber, to go and build up the house of the Lord. And we defined a priest as a person who represented God to the people, one who instructed people about God and his laws. And he was a mediator. He was a go in between man and God. And the priest used to offer sacrifices on behalf of people as well as interceding for them. And through Christ, all believers have been made a royal priesthood. And we have been set apart for God's service. And we saw last week that when priest, uh, priesthood fails, then there are consequences. There is suffering, and that is why when you read the book of Haggai, the message of uh, Haggai to the children of Israel was that they were planting expecting to harvest much, but they didn't get it. They didn't even eat what they had wanted to eat so that they could be enough. That they got their pockets uh, full, but they had uh, holes, which means they were never satisfied. That is because of the failure of the uh, priest who would have reminded them of what the Lord expected them to do. And today our topic is on the burden of uh, priesthood. And I will look at three things. There are many things, and I will base our uh, sermon this evening uh, from Ezra chapter 3. I will look at the burden of restoration, burden of rebuilding, and the burden of reconciliation. Although we didn't read chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, when you read verse 2 and 3, you'll find that Joshua and the priests began to build the altar of the Lord, of, of the Lord their God, so that they could have a place to offer sacrifices. And they couldn't worship God because they didn't have an altar. And therefore, the first thing they had to do was to build the altar, 
was to rebuild it because uh, when you go down, you'll find that they built the altar on the same spot that Solomon had built the first altar in, his, in the temple that had been destroyed earlier. We see that the altar is important because this is the place where we take our sacrifices. This is where we go so that we can offer our sacrifices to the Lord. And I know that we are looking at that altar, but our altar, Jesus has already given himself as a sacrifice. And therefore, um, even as we come to the altar, even when we have Holy Communion like next week, we will not be bringing a sacrifice, but just to uh, commemorate the sacrifice that Jesus gave. And when they started repairing or rebuilding the altar, God stirred, had stirred up their hearts. God had stirred them up so that they felt the need and the urgency to do it. And this evening, our prayer is that God will help us to rebuild the altars that have the, his altar in our lives that may have been destroyed. That God may help each one of us to not to look at the other person, not to look at the other at the neighbor and say, I wish they had they had the message. Let us ask God, can you help us? Can you help me as an individual to rebuild the altar? Can I go back to worshiping the Lord in truth and in spirit? There are many things that move us from the Lord and they break our relationship with him. There are many things that destroy the altar of the Lord of Lords in our hearts. Can God help us to be, rebuild these altars? Some of us have broken relationships. Some of us have broken families. Some of us have broken friendships. Our society is broken. It is only when we go back to God that we can be able to worship him in truth and spirit. We need to lay, to lay the altar of the Most High in our homes, in our families, businesses, in our lives, so that we can go back and worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. And therefore, the altar is very important. And that altar, let it be the altar of God. Second burden of priesthood is the rebuilding. When the, the, the altar was laid, where now we read from verse 7, we find that they had now started worshiping God and something happened to them and they realized that now we need to rebuild the temple because the temple was, had also been destroyed and therefore they got themselves to work. They served God and we see people uh, being given different tasks so that they could rebuild the temple. After restoration of worship, the people laid that foundation of the temple. And we know that foundations are very important. When you look at this house, and I think there could be people who are experienced in buildings, this house must have had a very strong foundation. That is why 100 years and more, it is still standing. But there are houses that have been built and we have seen them collapsing because the foundation was not strong. The psalmist says in Psalm 11 verse 3 that if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? We need to rebuild the foundations of the temple of the Lord. And I remind you 
that you and I, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, that God dwells in us if we believe in him. And what we are being called to do is to make sure that our lives are growing, that our, our spiritual lives are growing, that we also take care of ourselves, what goes into our minds, what goes into our lives. How do we speak to others? How do we treat others? And this cannot be done unless we are rooted in the word of God. There is only one way that we can rebuild the temple of the Lord. It is by staying in the word of God. It is by prayer. We call them the Christian disciplines. Pray. Read the word of God. Study. Join other people who are doing uh, Bible studies. And I can tell you that you are going to, be, to rebuild your faith. You are going to rebuild your, 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 your fellowship with the Lord. And our challenge today is to tell the Lord we are ready that you send us because we have rebuilt the altar and we have rebuilt the temple of the Lord. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the burden of reconciliation. We see that after people had built the altar, they built the, the, the temple, then there was joy, there was celebration. Why were they celebrating? It's because the, 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 the temple had been rebuilt. They had laid the foundation, at least the foundation of the house of the Lord. And that meant that because now they were able to worship, they had been reconciled back to God. They had a relationship with, the, with God. Reconciliation is a restoration of friendly relationships. The God who was telling them that you have planted much but you cannot uh, harvest anything. You, ha you want to eat, but you cannot eat enough. You have money that comes to you, but it goes through uh, pockets that have holes. Is a God now who has come to be with these people, and they are shouting and saying that the, he is good, and his love endures forever. They shouted, they sang, and they praised the Lord because they have been brought back to God. Their, their, their relationship had been brought back. And therefore, the burden of a priest is to reconcile people. Uh, uh, Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, beginning from verse 11, that God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. My question to ask this evening is, unless you have experienced a restoration as a believer, can you help others to be restored back to God? Can you restore the lives of others if you are not restored? Unless you have rebuilt the temple of the Lord, you cannot carry the burden of rebuilding. We are told that the word of God should, should richly dwell in our hearts. Are you deliberate in laying the foundations of your Christian life? Unless you are reconciled back to God through Christ, you cannot be in the ministry of reconciliation. You need to be reformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may know God's will. Starting, back, starting again, like Joshua, the priest, his fellow priests, and the remnants of Israel, maybe that is all what you need. Starting up again, starting afresh, going back to the Lord so that you can rebuild the broken altars. And we know, we know 
we know our lives. We can examine ourselves. And we know that, that area, I need a restoration. That area, I need to rebuild. That relationship, I need to rebuild it. We know that there are people, some of us need to be reconciled with. Are we reconciled? Are we reconciled with God? God is giving us a chance to be his priests. Remember, this is not for us who serve you here. It is not for these choir members. It is not for the people we call priests today. It is for us because you and I, we are priests at our home. We are priests in our workplace. We are priests everywhere because we are Christians. Is, is your life all on the altar of a sacrifice laid? Have you yielded your life to Christ? Have, do you have a relationship with him? This evening, I challenge us to be those priests who represent God, ambassadors of Christ, wherever we are. Father, we thank you and we praise you. Right now, Lord, we are asking ourselves and we are examining our ways and seeing areas where we need to restore the altars, the altar of the Most High that may have been destroyed by our sinfulness. We are considering our ways and we are looking at ourselves, Lord, to see the walls of the temple, the way we have destroyed the temple of God in our lives and our bodies. Today we are checking in our hearts, O oh Lord, to ask ourselves, are we reconciled back to you? Are we reconciled back to our fellow uh, citizens and fellow brothers and sisters? Help us, Lord, this evening as we uh, go back home so that we can be able to respond and to grow in you. As priests, help us to be obedient to your word and to help others to realize that you have called us to this ministry. In Jesus' name we pray.